Hello everybody, welcome back. I am super excited and fired up for today's video because it's a seed haul video and I get to tell you where you can find some of these seeds that you have been looking for and actually show you the seeds. If we are just meeting for the first time, my name is Yaje and I help people grow some of these culturally important African vegetables in the diaspora. I have been growing these vegetables in my backyard here in Texas, zone 9A, for over 20 years now. So if you're fired up for today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and we're going to get into this basket and I'll tell you all about where you can find some of these seeds. But before I show you, let me tell you about the company that sent these seeds to me. They are known as True Love Seeds. They have an entire collection of African diaspora seeds, seeds that are culturally important. Culturally important seeds just mean, or culturally important vegetables, it means that these vegetables are valued by a certain group of people, like it's part of their tradition. It affirms the identity of, of the people. For example, I am originally from Cameroon, from the Wimboom area, and the vegetable that is culturally important to us will be the njama njama. If you've been watching me, you know I always talk about the njama njama or the garden huckleberry. That's because that is the vegetable of my ancestors. Like that's what people from my area grow up eating. They grow up eating fufu and njama njama. So that vegetable is culturally important to us. When we move out of Africa in search of greener pastures, it becomes very difficult because we can't have ready access to these vegetables which is why i encourage people to grow their own gardens because you can actually grow these vegetables out here and they do well but sometimes laying hands on the seeds can be a challenge so i'm grateful to companies such as true love seeds who are now making some of these vegetable seeds available not only will that help Africans in the diaspora, but it will help put some of these vegetables on the map, make them mainstream. In fact, I have a dream that one day I will walk into your regular Walmart, your regular Whole Foods store and pick up fresh bitter leaves and pick up fresh ugu and I believe that it will be realized one day. So thank you Owen and Co of True Love Seeds for the initiative. The folks at True Love Seeds sent me 50 different seed packs. I selected a few just based on my interest. Um, I know I'm going to grow these right away. The very first one guys, guess what? Jaman Jama seeds now made it to True Love Seeds. Hello, hello, hello. This makes me so happy. This is the vegetable of my ancestors. That's the garden huckleberry very important leafy green for people from my area in Cameroon. So they have Njamanjama seeds. I think they have all of the varieties mixed in. That's the Boya, the Bamenda and the Bamun. About 60 to 70 seeds in the seed pack. Definitely get your Njamanjama. I want everybody to grow this vegetable and try them. Okay, so it takes only about 30 to 45 days to maturity. Easy growing quick crop and some of you have been asking me for a goosey melon they have a goosey melon at true love seeds um, i think some people know it as bitter melon so we we grow this it grows like a pumpkin and then produces a fruit and then the seeds in the fruit is what is edible i'm going to try the goosey melon again i've cultivated this before but I did not time it well and winter got here before. So it takes about 120 to 160 days to maturity. So if you divide that by 30 days in a month, so that's about four, four to five months. So you have to time it well to make sure that you can get the fruits. And this one also super excites me. Bambara granite, as we called it in Cameroon. I don't know how it tastes like, 
but I'm so excited to grow the Bambara granite and see if it does well. Oh my goodness, Bambara granite. And for my Niger peeps, this is Efo Shoko. Am I calling it right? It's Lagos spinach. I am also curious about this and I'm going to grow this right away. It says only 30 to 60 days to maturity. So I'm going to definitely grow this right away. And then here is green pumpkin eggplant. It says it's a small two inch green fruit and about 90 days to maturity. So about three months. I'm also curious to find out how this one looks like. I'm imagining it's going to look like the, the uh, Jakatu, that's how we call garden eggs that we have in Cameroon. So we'll see. We'll see if this is the same thing. I'm going to try this. And this one here, which I'm very excited about too, is Tulsi Vanna. That's Gratissimum. Osimum Gratissimum. I believe this is scent leaves. My Niger peeps, if you're watching, let me know. I don't know how scent leaves look like. I'm from Cameroon and I happen not to really know scent leaves, but everybody's talking about scent leaves. So I'm going to try growing this. Only 90 days to maturity. And it says it's an adaptogen used in Ayurvedic medicine. That already has me. I'm going to be trying send leaves. And here for my Nigerian people and my Bayangi people and me, water leaves. So if you've been looking for water leaves, they have water leaf seeds and true love seeds. And this one here is the white garden eggplant. I have cultivated this before and I can tell you that these produces very, very good garden eggs, very prolific. Get this, if you've been looking for garden egg seeds, get the white garden eggs. And I picked this one out because I didn't know they were called seven top turnips. I believe I have these growing in my backyard as we speak, only we called it kablar in my language. I've never known what the odd English name for it is, but I did some research and I thought it was brassica wrapper. So to see that they have brassica wrapper is very interesting to me. Here is a um, Palestinian Ewedu. My Nigerian people, if you know what this is, let me know. Palestinian Ewedu. I'm going to try it too. Don't know what Ewedu is, but I will try this. If you're going to grow okra and you want okra that just looks absolutely beautiful, get the Hill Country Red Okra. Oh my God, these things are beautiful. Don't plant them in containers though. They grow very, very tall. But the Hill Country Red Okra, I have grown this before and I have a bunch of seeds of my own now. But uh, they are available at True Love Seeds if you want some. Okra takes only 60 to 70 days to mature and very, very prolific. And then here is Kalalu or Amaran. If you are a beginner gardener and you think you have a green thumb, sorry, a brown thumb, you cannot kill this vegetable. Very quick growing crop, 30 days to maturity. Very nutritious greens, you use them like spinach. And then here is Boma or the eggplant leaf. In Cameroon, we call it Anchia. 70 to 90 days to mature. I'm going to recommend this. It's very easy growing, um, low maintenance vegetable. Another kind of striped garden egg. These ones produce like tiny eggplants like that, like really small, just like cherry tomatoes that you can just pick and eat, but very prolific. I've grown this in the garden as well. So again, that's not all of the seeds. There's still a lot of them left in here. 50 of them. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will do a slideshow to show you the rest of what I got from True Love Seeds, just in case you're looking for them. What I could not really stop looking at, the cards. Oh my God, they have like these beautiful postcards. Look at that okra. That's that okra I was telling you about, the Hill Country Red Okra. Very beautiful. Here's another one, beans. Look at that, beautiful beans. This one is what? I don't know what this is. Okay, these are flowers. Calendula flowers. Very beautiful. Another card here. This is corn, blue flint corn. These are some of the peppers, fish pepper. I think I have the seeds of this one. So yeah, guys, I wanted to just share with you that 
True Love Seeds now has an African diaspora seed collection. I hope you will check them out. For more gardening videos, click here. And if you have not yet subscribed, click here. Until next time, guys, grow a garden so that you can grow health. Bye.